Uganda is nice people. Yeah, very They're nice. Smiling. Very smiling. They like music, <laughs> dancing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's nice. Uganda is a very beautiful country that is located in East Africa. It's also popularly known as the Pearl of Africa, and this is because of its beauty, its abundant wildlife, and its cultural diversity. Ugandans are very warm and very welcoming people. They will go an extra mile to make sure that their guests feel at home. Uganda also enjoys a tropical climate. This means that there's sunshine and moderate temperatures all year round. It's because of these elements that Triomedics found it suitable to have a program in Uganda. I'm Selina Olumbe, Program Manager, Trimedics Uganda. Our basic concept is uh, to give the students an insight into the healthcare system and the working conditions of uh, medical professionals in a different culture and a different geographical location. Trimedics Uganda is structured in a way that we have two teams. The first team is the team at the house and secondly we have the team at the hospital. The team at the hospital has coordinators and these coordinators are the link between the hospital and the program. I'm the head nurse, but by designation, I'm a principal nursing officer of Entebbe Regional Referral Hospital. In this hospital, we are a regional referral hospital because we oversee six districts of health services within those districts. And as a regional referral hospital, we train students for, of different cadres. We train doctors, we train nurses from our local country. However, we also train other students from other countries now, like you in Denmark. And other countries have come here to learn what we do in this hospital. We have a collaboration with Primedics from Denmark, they, they are student nurses, and then they come here to learn. They come for four weeks, six weeks, five weeks, depending on their decisions. And when they come here, we receive them. I'm the one who receives them. I, I induct them about the hospital, how they are going to move around, how they are going to meet their mentors, and then I allocate them to different mentors. We have several number of mentors, and these mentors are met on the wards, medical wards, surgical wards, we have uh, pediatric wards, we have uh, uh, mother and child health care, that's where pregnant mothers go for checkups and other help before they deliver. Then we have maternity, then we have outpatient department, so all these departments, they go there. We allow them to have hands-on as they wish. And if they are not feeling comfortable, we don't force them to have hands-on. My name is Akoth Janet. I'm a midwife at Entebbe Regional Referral Hospital working in a maternity labor suit. At the same time, I'm a mentor to the TriMedic students. I'm happy to have them 
as part of my students that are mentoring in the labor suit. As you know, labor suit or maternity, we deal with pregnant mothers who are in labor and are hoping to have a delivery, either by either, by either cesarean section or a normal delivery. So that's what I take my students through. However, we also manage certain cases, uh, mothers who come when they are pregnant, not in labor, but with malaria in pregnancy or high blood pressure in pregnancy, which we call PET or eclampsia, we do manage these mothers. We've uh, had a very good interaction with the students, very good and welcoming and quick learners. I understand their nurses, but they are very, very passionate about learning the new things or the midwifery part. They, they participate a lot when we are in the ward because sometimes I do ask them actually, do, would you wish to try out something after observing for some time? And when they are willing, I give them the opportunity to do those small, small activities that we do in the labor suit. Having that uh, attachment or working together with the Trimedics or with the Denmark, I think it is an excitement. One, it has really motivated many of my nurses because they are reminding themselves of the knowledge because they teach them. And as they teach them, they are also reminding themselves of things they may have forgotten. So it is making them better and better as they continue training them and then that relationship they become attached to these people and those that is friendship so that is very important as long as we live in this world we need to have connections and friendships and we know very well that nursing is the backbone of all health care very important it, it has the highest number in all facilities here in Uganda so we are so excited to see that you bring nurses to our hospital for us to mentor them because they are the backbone of all health care in the whole world. My, my nurses are motivated in a way that after they have, they have mentored them, they are given some token which also motivates them, which is good for me as a leader or for me as a head for nursing. So it is good on our side. I think even the, the trimedics themselves have learned a lot the challenges that we go through as Uganda in Africa because for us we are not so developed maybe like their country and they are seeing different challenging situations but they are learning to manage patients even when it is, it is tricky or it, the, the situation is not really conducive. You manage a patient and you help the patient to survive. So they are learning all these things in hardship. Hello, my name is Nicoline and I'm traveling with TriMedics. Right now I'm a second year student and I am at Entebbe Hospital in Uganda. So far I have been on two departments, the surgical ward and the medical ward. All the mentors are very welcoming and they are very willing to share their knowledge and their skills and we are also very happy to learn from them. So because I'm a second year nurse student, I need to have a lot of hands on and I get the opportunity to get it here because here in Uganda, they believe in learning by doing. I chose to travel with Trimedics because I wanted to share these cultural differences with other Danish students and maybe compare and learn how we can do better also in Denmark. I think what I have learned the most on this trip already is what when a country has fewer resources it has to be creative with the healthcare, healthcare system and innovative um, and I think that's very important for us in Denmark also to learn. Some of the differences between uh, the healthcare system in Uganda and Denmark is how uh, when you're admitted at the hospital here you're very dependent 
uh, upon your relatives uh, because they are your caretakers. They have to bring you food, clothing, and they have to make sure that you're clean. In Denmark, uh, it's more likely to be a nurse job than the caretakers. Trimedics is a unique program. And I say this because of different reasons. First, we are in control of the students right from the time they step into the country. This means that everything is already planned, right from the airport pickups, their accommodation, their meals, their transportation to and from the hospital, and their weekend trips. This means also that the students have to only focus on the internship while they're on the program. My focus is on the experience at the hospital. From the first day, which is orientation day, I am with the students. I take them to the different departments. We have a small tour around the hospital. They get to meet the different mentors. And uh, starting from the following day and all the other days that they are at the hospital, I'm always there with them. I go check on them about mid-morning just to make sure everything is going well. And my office is always open to them. Anytime they feel they need to talk to someone because it can get a bit overwhelming, I'm always there for them. Or if they need maybe some air, some water, or maybe to go home, maybe they, they feel a bit unwell, I make sure that I get them a driver to take them back to the house. I also work very closely with the mentors. I get feedback both from the students and from the mentors just so that we can make this internship program as good as possible. Our internships are structured in a way that they meet the learning objectives of the students. We take necessary precautions to make sure that the students are, do not find themselves in a vulnerable situation while they're on the program. We go this extra mile just to make sure that the students get a beautiful experience while on their internship and on the weekend trips. I'm Frederike and I'm a Danish coordinator at TriMedics. I'm a registered nurse and I've been traveling with TriMedics uh, six years ago as a pre-student. I'm the link between the students and the trimedics and my job at the hospital is to make sure that the students are comfortable and they have like a Danish coordinator to speak with, to ask questions. I have traveled a lot in Tanzania as a volunteer nurse um, so I know, know a lot about the East African health system and that's why I can explain and discuss uh, with the students about the differences between Uganda and Denmark um, and also the cultural differences. I also have lectures with the students about different topics. Uh, it could be like ethic, culture or we could have like a deep breathing about uh, the cases they have seen at the hospital. My name is Akim and I'm an activity coordinator here in Uganda. All I do is uh, be with the students in their spare time activities. This is when they are done with the hospital time and it's time for us to have other activities such as uh, swimming, going for safari, going to ginger for many other trips which come with ATV, rafting, horseback riding. I'm in there to make sure they have all they need during those activities. All these activities that we schedule out is to help the students have time out of the hospital program that helps them relieve their minds and get ready for the coming other activities for the other weeks. Such as if we're in out for the safari, it helps them release their mind so that they are ready for the coming weeks because they are always here for a couple of weeks for the hospital scheduled time.
on a weekly basis we have feedback and this feedback is both written and oral this feedback is about the experiences that the students have had during the week we also get this feedback and share it with the hospital and aside from that we also use this feedback to make adjustments to the program the students do not only get to learn from the medical professionals, but they also get to make new friendships while they're on the program. They also get to discover themselves what they can do and what they cannot do. But most of all, they get to experience a new culture and see the world in a different perspective. We would like to thank the TriMedics team for welcoming us into the house and they've made a great experience for us. They did so that we could like um, concentrate on being at the hospital and when we needed a hug we could get a hug and uh, they made it very easy to like stay together. Yeah, they made a safe environment and we had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Living in a TriMedics house quickly, very quickly becomes feeling like a home. When we are going out on trips on the weekends, on the way home, you always feel like, oh, it's nice to be out and experience stuff, but now we're going home. It's here when we are all together, it's here when we are spending every evening tonight together, and it's here when we are interacting with the staff and enjoying our evenings. For example, like tonight, this is home. This feels like home. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Home! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Explore our program and be sure to have a memorable experience.